What a beautiful ceremony that was. It is truly an honor to be at the wedding of Queen Padme Amidala and Anakin Skywalker at uh, this beautiful royal lake retreat at Barrakino. What an incredible adventure you two have been on. And it is truly the beginning of an incredible story. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody I was here today. Um, while this union is forbidden by norms and traditions, your belief in your love has remained your guiding light. Anakin, you are definitely right to reject the Jedi Order after dreaming of becoming a Jedi your whole life. What do they know about the Force anyways? I'm sure following this path of impulsive decision making will work out great, and not in a giant flying metal death ball. It's amazing to think before you tied the knot today, just days ago, you both were tied in actual knots and tied to posts to be eaten by alien creatures while locust people cheered on your death. From the beginning, your bond has been tested by trauma. When you guys first met, Anakin was a child slave, torn from his mother to be trained as a space wizard. And Padme was a space queen, fleeing her planet after it was invaded. Your love endured this event, and eventually you both even triumphed. Not that long ago, when Padme's life was in danger due to political turmoil, Anakin, you were there to fight off venomous slugs placed by bounty hunters after your wife's now head. Anakin was only able to save Padme from these slugs because your bond is so strong and he sensed you were in danger. I'm sure it is so great, Anakin, you were able to sense when Padme is in danger. I'm sure you will never be the cause of this danger and then therefore would enter a paradigm where you are trying to stop the danger you are causing her to be in. I'm sure you will love Padme even if it kills her. Today, I'm so excited for what the future holds for you two and can only imagine how amazing the family you create will be and the lack of cysts that will come from it. I would be remiss not to acknowledge two individuals who aren't present for obvious reasons, but should be acknowledged. Chancellor Palpatine and Obi-Wan Kenobi. We all know the Chancellor is busy inciting a coup to overthrow democracy in the Galactic Republic and couldn't make it here today. His role in both your lives has been tremendous, from representing the Queen's planet in the Senate, and mentoring Anakin through maturity. Obi-Wan would have objected to this marriage, so it's good he isn't here. But his, but his lack of oversight allowed this union to be possible, and he must be acknowledged. I could never imagine a future where Anakin would be capable or be the cause of the death of these two individuals. I also want to recognize two in attendance today, R2-D2 and C-3PO. I am so glad I was here to attend this with you guys, and that we will both be keeping this on the download together. I'm sure a memory, a memory wipe is in your future. I'm so excited for both of you, and again, honored to be able to speak at your wedding. I'm in admiration of your belief in your love, despite the clear red flags that are coming up. Queen Amidala, your parents would be so proud, and Anakin, your parents would be proud. I'm so thrilled I got to attend this amazing moment for you both before I moved my family to the planet of Alderaan. So please, everyone here, C-3PO, R2-D2, raise your glass and cheers to the happily wedded couple. Ah, long live the Republic.